Hello guys, welcome to Passive Hunt. In this video, I am going to review Gromatic. Gromatic is a marketing campaign automation tool and it will help you to design your website's landing page depending on the user's behavior. And as of now, I am recording this video. This tool just launched one day ago on AppSumo as their lifetime deal. And if you see the lifetime deal pricing of Gromatic, they are offering you up to license tier 3 and only the difference between this license tier are this number of marketing audience per month. So depending on your number of total marketing audience per month, you can get any license tier you want. And see the license tier 1 pricing is 69 USD but you can get at least 10% discount guys on this pricing. Just go to the description of this video and get the 10% discount on Gromatic Lifetime Deal and see here you will get white leveling feature in all license tier and these are all features that are included with this all tiers and if you see they are claiming that it's an alternative of drip and they're saying that gromatic is a cross-channel marketing automation platform that allows you to create highly targeted web content emails and pop-ups so you can also create interactive pop-up by using this tool guys now without further ado let's go to the dashboard of gromatic and let's explore what have inside the dashboard and how things works here but before that one thing i want to mention guys i have created a vip lifetime deal discussion group on facebook this community is completely dedicated to discuss about various up-to-date lifetime deals available on the market so if you are interested to join such group guys you are cordially invited to join i'll give the link of this group in the description and in the comment section of this video now this is the dashboard that you will get whenever you will log in or sign up on gromatic and the first step is you have to go to this people section and here you have to add new segment now what is segment in this segment you can segmentize your different types of customer let's say i will create one new segment just click here new segment and see here you can create a new segment from scratch also there have some template let me explore at first the scratch option and then i will show you what are the templates that are available here so i'm clicking here start from scratch here you can add your customer contact and see here just click here add contact and you can upload your customer contact through uploading csv file and intercom and mailchimp integration are coming soon these are the things guys now let me import some customer contact here just import your csv file let's say this is my csv file and then open and then you can update and override the existing people that matches by email and click here next and here you can also select different destination here in my case i'll select user email because in my csv file i have only email but in your csv file if you have different data then you can select all your data from here after that just click here next and then again next and your contact details will be imported and see the contact details has been imported see these are all my contacts i have been imported them i hope you get idea guys about this feature and here have option for filter so you can add here any filter you can filter depending on email depending on first name last name full name username country region city address phone number gender birth date and time zone see there have a lot of attributes you can use and you can filter depending on these attributes and then uh, here how you will get these attributes in your csv file you have to keep these attributes basically and here you will get all your attributes that will be available on your csv file but in my csv file that i have been uploaded right now there have only email field that's why i'm not seeing the first name last name these other uh, attributes but in your case if you use it professionally definitely you will get it i hope you get idea guys after that the next option is tags so you can create multiple tags for your multiple types of customer just click here new tag and add here the name of your tag let's say tag one so this is one of my tag and let's say tag two and all your csv files will be added as a tag see this is one csv file that i have been uploaded where 99 contacts was available and it has been added as a tag and you can rename the tag let's say csv file the name of this tag i hope you get idea guys 
after that they have customer attributes so you can create new customer attribute if you want just click here add customer attribute and then here give the name of your customer attributes let's say the customer attributes is marital status and then here you can select it as text number and date but there don't have the drop down menu option but it would be nice if there have the drop down option so we will use here text and then just click here add so this attribute will be added and then you can use this attribute for your contact uh, list basically after that you can see all your archived users if you have any archived user and these are the things guys i hope you get idea now if we create segment just click here start from scratch here select your filter option and then here see have different attributes let's say the email ends with yahoo.com in my case let's say i'll select yahoo.com and then you will get all the emails that are ending with yahoo.com see these are all emails that are ending with yahoo.com so you can create a new segment with this email also there have other attributes see you can uh, here use first name last name full name username a lot of attribute that i have guys so you can create a lot of segment or any type of segment you need basically you can create here and after that just click here save segment if you want to add more filter then just click here add filter group so you can add more filter also from here i'm not adding so i'm clicking here remove i hope you get idea after that just click here save segment insert the name of your segment let's say the name is segment one and then save the segment so your segment will be created now if we go to this segment see this is the segment one that i have been created right now you can edit the segment you can use this segment as a template and you can duplicate it remove it i hope you get idea guys and see they have some pre-made template for segment just click here start from template and here you can see there have multiple segment about to sleep uh, active customer that means customer who are active during the last seven days you can create a segment or a specific segment only for the customer who are active in last seven day at risk customer bounced visitor can't lose them see there have a lot of uh, pre-made template you can use this template if you want i'm not using these things right now but i hope you get idea guys how you can use this segment and by using this segment you can basically categorize your customers i hope you get idea and after that the next option is automation and this is the most important feature of this tool basically so here you can create new rules and these rules are basically the automation of this tool that means see you can automate marketing campaign by using this bromatic tool and how can you automate these things by using these rules or by setting up these rules you can use the automation of this platform so just click here add new rule and here have some uh, template already you can also start from scratch now let me explore these things from scratch and then i will explore the templates so i'm clicking here guys start from scratch and see here have the option it's very easy to use you have to select the trigger and then you have to select the actions now what is the difference between this trigger and action trigger is basically when something will happen and action is basically what will happen that means if someone do this then these things happen that means if someone let's say visit from facebook then these things happen or if someone visit from appsumo.com then these things will happen you can set up this type of thing so i hope you get some basic idea let's say the traffic source is see here you can set up a lot of event and i'm selecting traffic source let's say my traffic source you can select here parameter or also you can select a domain let's say my traffic source is facebook.com facebook.com that means whenever someone will visit to my page from facebook.com then what i want to show him or what action i want to take for him so the trigger is visiting someone from facebook.com so whenever someone will trigger this event then what will happen you can now select these things i hope you get idea guys it's very easy you have to just select the trigger and then action see there have a lot of event under this trigger traffic source country region or state city device 
page or product visit time is spent on site then uh, opened an email clicked an email unsubscribed from email uh, marketing then other away and then store sign up a tag is applied a tag is removed so there have a lot of attribute or event you can use these events for this video for example purpose i am using guys this traffic source but you can use any one of this if you need i hope you get idea guys and let's say whenever someone will visit from facebook.com that means whenever the traffic source will be from facebook.com see what i want to do let's say i want to add them in a tag let's say the tag is add tag and here you have to select the tag on which tag you want to add them let's say i want to add them on tag one you can also add more action so just click here add another action and then let's say i want to show them a different interface see this is my website's interface it's not very beautiful but this is my website's interface right now let's say i do not want to show them exactly this interface whenever they will visit on my site from facebook.com now how can i do this see there in the action section there have option for personalized page so you can personalize your page and whenever i have been selected the personalized page it will give me all the pages that are available on my website see these are all the pages that are available on my website let's say i want to customize for this specific visitor this home page so i'm selecting here home page and then just click here personalize page now it will give you the full page and then you can customize this page only for your specific visitors who will visit from facebook.com domain i hope you get idea see this is my website's interface now you can customize all the things from here let's say you do not want to show this welcome to store you want to show hello are you from facebook you want to show this text to the visitors who will visit from facebook that means generally visitor will see this interface and here they will see welcome to the store but whenever someone will visit from facebook.com or any trigger you have been set up they will see this text i hope you get idea guys you can set up this type of personalization by using this tool after editing or after personalizing you have to just click here on this blue tick icon and this will be edited and everything is editable here guys you can edit every text you can add new block here see you can add blocks product button you can add image video social and text let's say i will add some product so just select here product and see here are the products and you can add here new image now you can uh, change this text color everything you can change basically from this sitting option see if i go to sitting option you can change all the text color you can change how many number of product you want to show you can change the title description of the product you can change the price of the product from here so you can customize all the things you can customize your full page from here and then you can personalize your page for the specific users i hope you get idea guys about this tool and after editing all the things you have to just click here save personalization i'm not editing my page guys because if i want to edit my whole page here then it will take a lot of time so i'm not editing more now i'll just save the personalization now but i hope you get idea how things works here so just click here save personalization and see the personalized page has been added i hope you get idea guys similarly here you can send and uh, see these are the actions that are available show pop up you can show a specific pop up to your specific users you can redirect to any other page you can personalize the page you can send them a specific email you can add them to a specific tag you can remove a tag from them you can archive them and then you can unsubscribe them remove uh, from rule activate user deactivate user see these are the things that you can do also the cool thing is you can send them a specific email if you want see they have option for send email this is really amazing that means whenever someone visit to your site they will get a email to their mailbox it will help you to increase the engagement and brand value of your company or of your brand i hope you get idea after doing everything guys after setting up everything just click here save rule i hope you get idea how you can save the rule and how you can automate your marketing campaign by using this chromatic tool just click here save rule and it will be saved
but they're saying please resolve the error below so there may have some error let me find it okay i have to add any action in this field basically but let's say i do not want any other rule so i'm removing it and then i will save the rule so these are the things guys the rule has been saved now if i go to this automation section see here the rule now if you want to activate it here have three dot from here you have to activate it that means you can activate any rule from here and whenever you don't need it you can deactivate it from here or you can pause it from here and then whenever you will need it again you can activate it from here now i will show you what are the pre-made template that are available here just click here a start from template and see there have some template appreciate loyal customer black friday sales email discount pop-up exit intent pop-up follow-up card abandonment happy christmas email new year's email newsletter email see there have a lot of template you can use this template if you want i hope you get idea guys about this uh, tool and the tool is really amazing i'm not setting up any other rule but i hope you get idea how you can set up your rules these are the things guys here in this automation section or here in this uh, rules section after that they have analytics you can see the analytics of your web page here and see uh, i have been just set up it that's why i don't have a lot of analytics but you can see the broad analytics about your website from here these are the things guys the last option is this workshop and from here you can basically edit your email template your pop-up template your personalization page and you can add your media library and then you can use these email templates or pop-up templates or personalization page here in this automation section let's say i will design a email template so just click here add email and see there have a lot of template you can use these templates from here and there have the types of template let's say i will use let's say this one use this template just click here and then and here give the name of your template you can also design it from scratch guys here I have the option to start from scratch but let's say i will use this one so now give a name of this template let's say email one and then okay and see this is template it's very professional guys you can edit all the things from here see see all things are editable here you can change anything you want and see here i have the uh, attributes that means it will address people by their name if you want and you can change everything basically i'm not changing anything but you can change and it's totally responsible see there uh, you can see the mobile view and the pc view or the desktop view basically i hope you get idea guys and after editing everything you can just save the email and then you can use these emails or this pop-up template or this personalization pages in this automation section i hope you get idea guys about this tool the tool is really amazing and it will help you to increase the engagement of your website and to increase the brand value of your website i think so guys if you think you need this type of tool for your business then definitely you can get this grammatic tool and see when i'm recording this video it has been launched on absolute only one day ago and within this one day it has gotten two reviews and the both reviews are five star let me check the reviews from here see this person has got 107 deals from AppSumo, and this person is saying fastest purchase and this person is, has bought 15 deals from AppSumo. this person is saying pure gold so everyone is saying that the tool is really good i hope you get idea guys and i'll give the link of chromatic lifetime deal in the description of this video you can get at least 10 percent discount on this pricing guys just go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount on chromatic lifetime deal and it's an affiliate link guys if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal i will get a small commission without costing you any additional costing so if you think guys this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal and the last thing is visit our website www.pacivan.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our vip lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel thank you so much guys for watching this video